right here is Cordylus scutellatus scutellatus, otherwise known as the Mojave rattlesnake. The snake is world famous and notorious for being named its own toxin. It has what is called the Mojave toxin, or primarily neurotoxic venom, which is unusual for most crotalids, which is the genus of rattlesnakes. Most rattlesnakes have hemotoxic venom, which destroys tissue, whereas this guy right here affects your nervous system. These guys over here in the state of Texas are known as the green phase Mojave because their color tint is a little bit green hued. They have vertically elliptical slit pupils for great night vision, and they have fangs that can range anywhere from about half an inch to an inch long in a full grown adult. Uh, these guys get around three, maybe four feet would be a really big Mojave. They're typically smaller than a diamondback, but look extremely similar. To people who don't know how to tell the difference, uh, you can make a common error and distinguishing these guys from a diamondback. But the way that I do is uh, their scales right above their eyes are set a little bit higher on their head. And then also right by their tail, their yellow and black bands right before the rattle, the yellow and black bands, white and black bands right before the rattle, uh, tend to be a little bit wider in the white area and then a little bit thinner in the black. Whereas in the diamondback, they're evenly spaced. But these guys are beautiful, beautiful snakes. They have a, a very strange attitude for a rattlesnake. Most of them want to just run. And these guys will run, but they are known for being kind of aggressive. They, uh, they don't typically flee right at the first sight of a predator. They will stand their ground. But if you keep on pressing on and pressing on, they will move. But beautiful, beautiful snakes. You can see them watching me right now with those front heat seeking pits because they are pit vipers. But praise you God for these guys. I do love these snakes. The most venomous rattlesnake in the United States right here, the Mojave rattlesnake. Gorgeous, gorgeous guy. Sorry for him being out in the sun like this. He must have been trying to get somewhere where he could go. Right now I'm using what is called snake tongs. These things are pressure sensitive and as you see, they hold the rattlesnake fairly comfortably. He's, he's not in any distress right now. I mean, sure he wants to get out, but he can move freely. It doesn't pinch or break any of the rattlesnake's ribs or his backbone, anything. It's a beautiful device because it allows me to work with these guys with complete safety. As you can see, I'm far out of the way of strike range. So right now, Put him over in some rock cuts. This one right here seems good. Go, buddy, go. See how happy he is to get out of that sunlight? Get a nice hole. Oh, that other one. Looking down whatsoever. Oh, I got that one. Oh, he Golly. Throws himself at you, Dave. Listen to him. You hear him? Okay. Give me a second. I'm going back and get some more pictures of him. So it's real pretty. Yeah, it is, dude. That very first strike pose he did after he struck, dude, was just amazing. I was like, just <laughs> like a hobby strike pose, dude. He just, he had that head dang that angle down. He had that body just lifted all the way up, dude. Look at him, he's just steady coming, dude. Kill oh him. man, that one's a pretty one. <laughs> Is that an angry face or what? Like... Listen to him hissing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is so bad, dude. All right, guys, right here we have trace. That would be three Cordylus scutellatus scutellatus and one Cordylus atrox. That's three Mojaves and one Western Dunback rattlesnake. Last night we had dark weather; we couldn't see a thing. We actually thought we had three Western Dunbacks and one Mojave. But whenever we get them all laid out in the morning and stuff, you can easily tell all three of these guys are Mojaves, and that dude.